What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So this is breaking news for me. I mean, going through this as a negotiator, as someone that talks about a lot of back and forth between one individual and another individual, one group and another group, basically to get your way, um, I really can break this down to say that things have been confirmed. Some things have been confirmed. So I'm really happy about this, but you know, obviously I'm also upset about it because it could be more money. So we're talking about stimulus. We'll get into that in just a second. Before I start, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video to hear all about that. Now also get your two free stocks with Webull down below. All you have to do is deposit $100 and you could get a stock valued up to $1,400. And check out my Robinhood link. If you sign up with Robinhood and link your bank account, you'll get a free stock as well. So that's free money. Go over there and check that out. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this. So I seen this article uh, pop up last night and I was like, should I record something last night? I was up until 12. I didn't record anything, but um, I'm going to have this out to you today, um, hopefully in the morning. And it's not a full breakdown of what's going on, but it is something that confirms stimulus checks, which is really essential in a lot of these videos because that's what people care about is stimulus checks they care about hazard pay they care about unemployment and those three things is is what you know a lot of people are searching these videos for not just searching it for the fact that schools are reopening a lot of people think that schools shouldn't reopen um because of the fact that you know you're really putting kids in harm's way if you are in a, a highly infected city then that could be a horrible situation but if you're forcing you know schools to reopen, then it could be a different situation at hand. But we're going to talk about stimulus checks. We're going to talk about all of the things that they have made public. They haven't broken out the full plan. And that's what I'm waiting for. It's supposed to break out today. So I might have three videos today. That'll be crazy. I, I don't really post three videos. But um, there's a lot of information going out today and it's just like leaks and, you know, all of this other stuff. And also, you know, you see my other video of a hundred dollars per week of unemployment, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this article. So this article's title is a stimulus check updates. GOP white house agrees to testing funds, Mitch McConnell's plan, handful of coronavirus aid bills. So let's go ahead and get into this. So it starts with more testing. You have the the funding for more testing. Everybody agrees on that. We need testing to be able to see how many cases are out there. And if you don't have eyes on the situation, then I mean, you're you're blind to it and it's not a good thing. Facing a GOP revolt, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was preparing a handful of separate COVID-19 aid bills. So it wasn't just one package. It was more of a negotiation strategy to where you have one, you have one option that equals up to a trillion dollars. You have another option that equals up to a trillion dollars. You have another option, another option, another option, just to put everything in place and say, you know, how about this? How about we have $1 billion for a uh, hundred billion dollars for stimulus checks? How about we have a hundred billion dollars for schools and it adds up to a trillion dollars. Then they say, well, we don't want this much money for schools. How about we take that down and we have $150 for stimulus checks and $50 billion for, for schools. Like that's, I guess what is actually happening to have a handful of uh, bills in place just so that you kind of get your way. That's a negotiation strategy that a lot of people do is break down at a full budget. Um, especially if you're trying to spend something and let's say your wife doesn't want to spend it or your husband doesn't want to spend it and you're looking at it and you're going, all right, um, if I break this down, it costs $2,000. If I break this down and find different ways to spend it, oh, I can, I can buy it from Lowe's and it costs, you know, $25 less. I can buy it from Home Depot and then we can use this card. We can open this card and it costs $50 less. That's a negotiation strategy to stay under your budget. And I agree with how they're doing it. I don't agree with the full amount, but you know, I agree with you know the strategy. I like different negotiation strategies. McConnell is set to unveil this full package on Thursday, which is today. So I can't wait until that actually comes out. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. And as I post more videos, I'll, like I said, I'm probably going to post three videos today. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, they said it was a very productive meeting. Uh, Secretary Steven Mnuchin said that it was very productive, quote, very productive meeting. But a key holdup was Donald Trump's tax cuts. He talks about this all the time. He talked about this in the past and he keeps talking about this. He wants payroll tax cuts, which wouldn't 
wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, it gives people that are working uh, more money in their paycheck, and I understand that. But um, it's something that I guess is holding up the bill because they're not putting it in there. Um, instead, Mitch McConnell and some Republicans refer another round of direct $1,200 cash payments to Americans. This is something that I thought as a confirmation, if they're saying instead of this payroll tax cut, just throw that out the window, we support a $1,200 check to Americans. Now, this is saying that we support $1,200 and we support sending it out in the stimulus bill. Now, the only thing we don't know, well, we know we don't know a couple of things. We don't really know when it's going to actually come out because right now we're just proposing things. Um, but the only thing we don't know is actually how many people are going to get it. So that's what is concerning is how many people are going to get it. So it could still be $1,200 and that's what they're saying they support, but is it going out to everybody? And then you scroll down here, Mnuchin said the negotiators have agreed to an amount on direct payments, but declined to share details. So they agree on $1,200. So if you are sitting here saying that it's going to be a thousand or it's going to be $600, they agree that it's $1,200 or nothing. Um, that's really what they want. They want $1,200, but it all depends how many people it's going out to. I think it needs to go out to anybody, basically the same amount. I think it was 75,000 last time around. And I think it needs to be the same. That seemed like it was a good uh, threshold. The only thing you were missing was college students, adult dependents. You were missing those areas that, you know, where people are kind of struggling as well. You know, I was a college student living on my own. Um, and, that kind of sucks because if I have my job and then I'm forced to leave my job, now I can't pay for the house that I'm staying in and maybe I have to move into the university, which is not open. So then it's like, ah, uh, you're losing your money, you're losing your house, you're getting evicted. Like uh, That's just a horrible situation for a college student if you don't think that college students need money. It all depends. Certain cottage, college, certain cottage. Certain college students need money. So some more information, Republicans proposed giving $105 billion to help schools reopen and $15 billion for child care centers to create a safe environment for youngsters uh, during the pandemic, which I feel good about because I have two daughters that are going into daycare. So one that's already in daycare. So um, I feel good about making it a safe environment for daycares and that funding will go to this daycare as well. Still one thing that's unresolved that I talked about in my last video is how to phase out the um, $600 per week of unemployment. Now, $600 is a lot, $2,400 a month is a lot, but um, I think that they need to reduce it a little bit. And what they proposed um, in the article in my last video was $100 a week, and that's just not enough. Um, I actually said that they were cutting it by 25%. I don't know why I thought it was 25%. That's not 25%. And I laughed after I watched the video. So uh, make sure you go check that out. Anyways, um, they cut it down to $100. Um, their, their proposal, they cut it down to $100. So this is really interesting, I mean, to talk about this. And this is all that people really care about is the unemployment benefits are the checks. And I mean, that's what people care about right now. And I don't, I don't really care about getting into all of the other detail. I mean, we can once we really see what the bill has to offer. And hopefully I get that later today so that I can, you know, break that down and show you exactly what uh, the different bills stated and got to a uh, trillion dollars. So that's it. Make sure you hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. So make sure you enter the giveaway by going over to my Instagram, DMing me, letting me know that you want to enter the giveaway and that you subscribe to both YouTube channels, this one and the Perry Experience channel, which I will be posting to soon. Also get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. It'll be the first link that you see. All you have to do is go over to Weeble, uh, sign up, Deposit $100 and you'll get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,400. Also, Robinhood. This is easier if you go to that link, sign up, link your bank account, you can get one free stock. So that's it, guys. I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. <music>